Hello love, I'm in a good mood today, so I thought I might show you how I paint my face. Take you along for the ride. Take you along. Uh, I gotta cut that out right now. <laughs> I was just in a good mood today, which is not rare these days. <laughs> um, and I just figured I would do a mug and show you how it's done or how I do it sometimes, I guess. Uh, I definitely will have a tutorial for the Mayan Chem Gerard Way inspired look that I did for the Christmas special. So stay tuned for that, because it's coming. If people want it, you gotta tell me if you want it. Do you want it? <laughs> I've had a couple people tell me, maybe two. So I didn't do my stripes today, like my signature, because they just take so long. I just wanted to hop on here and get a video up. I'm trying to make more content more consistently more consistent content if you will i just figured every once in a while i can hop on here and uh use use the mirror mount that i made and if you guys want a tutorial on that i can show you how i made that as well it's essentially a suction cup and uh and a, and a phone holder that i got from the dollar tree real complicated real technical i'll try to dumb it down in terms you can understand but as for right now that's the way the cookie crumbles. Safety first. So first of all, I'm going in with some paint stick. I am going to start with just a pale, um, you know, skin tone. Just gonna lather that on, like so. Take a sponge. Hammer that shit into your face. With contour, um, I find that like I have struggled over the years to like really make it deep enough so that it actually reads on stage and stuff. That happens with just like anyone who's starting out in drag. I feel it's like you always start off like way, way more cautious than you really should be going. So I have like a very deep foundation stick. This one's by Mayron because Krylon is expensive. I, I don't like this formula as far as a base, but it works for contour. Going right, making my cheekbones pretty high up here because that's just the look I like to do. Starting at like, you know, the top of where your ear starts right here. He's a cheekbone guy. Um, usually I'll use a big flat paintbrush, but um, I don't know, recently I've been into these cheapy little sponges that you get from the Dollar Tree or what have you. So yeah, we're going on, we're going on thick. He's a thick boy, but oh goodness, I'm down here ish that'll work uh we're going on thick but that's because it's under painting anyone who's um trying to do drag is gonna realize that you gotta you gotta lay it on thick first and then you can kind of like shear it out or whatever you're gonna find what works for you this is not gonna work for everyone you know i have uh changed my ways in this paint style, you know, many times, many times. And it's, it's consistently changing, I feel. Oh God. Oh no! That's not supposed to be there. Not super symmetrical, but mm, mm, pretty symmetrical. Gonna erase that real quick down there. Oh, excuse me. Boop, boop. And anything I don't like right now, I will go back with, uh, more I'll, I'll like fix it later so that's kind of all i want to do with this sponge now i think i am going to take i have a couple couple different paint brushes here i'll take this one first so with this kind of a paintbrush and make my temples real exaggerated and sunken in you can kind of i don't know some people bring that down into the cheek to like really cut out the cheeks, I guess. And um, yeah, I mean, you'll just see, you'll just see varying 
styles when it comes to kings where some people's contour is like super brutally um thick defined defined some kings have very defined shadows and contours and stuff and then some kings don't it just depends same with queens or any other kind of drag performer and you can tell i feel like you can usually tell who can draw i don't know i feel like it's it's awesome to see like the artistry come out where you're like this fucking person knows what they're doing like this person knows how to paint they know color and i am just trying to catch up with that you know it's fun i feel like i've improved a lot since i started so it's good it's looking pretty crazy right now <laughs> um i guess we can do these guys these are to make your forehead more square and brutish like a man like, like a masculine man boy yes all right these ones are always a little bit of a struggle for me but if you can get them to look right damn it does a lot for your paint i think Ooh, yep yeah, it's a struggle it's a struggle it's okay we're gonna blend it out everything will look better later i promise oh my god <laughs> that look looks pretty bad Ooh, everything will be fine i promise we're gonna come back to it let's go around the nose oh that's a lot that's a lot oh that's a lot and it's kind of hard to blend out too gonna go in here sometimes i'll do like a little hole and sometimes i'll just fill it in lately i've just been filling it in like that accentuate the lip area upper lip we're gonna blend it out later it looks crazy i don't know what to tell you kid uh i like to go in here we'll bring that out with some black later accentuate the chin and your little like flappies up here i don't know what they're called very um scientific flappies i will be going underneath my lips too just because dick swagger mick jagger i try to give myself pretty big lips i could definitely go bigger a million times bigger with that um you know i should be going bigger with that name i'm gonna wait until i have my highlight on underneath that so i can kind of like gauge where the f to uh <laughs> where to put it then you gotta decide what kind of chin you want i always do like a little bit under here maybe just to accentuate does not look straight but neither am i i'm gonna do a little bit of the nose for the longest time i was doing underneath this but then i realized that I like the way my nose looks better when I cap it off here and then point it upwards like a little pixie nose. Like, like I'm obsessed with uh, Gerard's nose. Ooh. Oops. Ooh. 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 Okay. I'm also going to kind of deepen up. Oh, goodness. Deepen up this portion. That's a lot, but... We're gonna work with it. I like to do it right against my under eye bag kind of situation. And then we'll deal with that when we get to it. I'm making sense. And you're not making sense. Um, Vod and I always do the fucking grr. <laughs> also, they, if you ever get painted by Vod, they'll do that to you <laughs> while they're painting you. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do it a little bit thicker right there. I'm like totally out of frame. How long have I been out of frame? How dare you not tell me that I was, oh, that I was out of frame. <laughs> shit, shit. Um, 
I'm also gonna do a little flippy up here. Okay, that's a little, um, we'll see how that works out. But I feel like once I blend it out, it's gonna be fine. Uh, then you're gonna take this big ass brush again, and you're going to make your jawline square. I have no frame of reference as far as like the order in which other kings do this. I always do my eyebrows last or my lips last. It's like my eyebrows and then my lips as far as like completely after everything's done. I don't know why. So you're gonna make it a square. Actually, you can go like this. It really just depends as long as it's like defined. I don't really know. I do it differently every time. I don't know. I don't know. My jaw is already kind of naturally square because I have TMJ. Thank you, orthodontist, who made my retainer too tight and then made me clench my teeth at night. And then I came in and then he was like, you got TMJ, you're going to have to buy a $600 retainer. And I was like, or I could sue the shit out of you. And then they gave me a retainer that was like a mouth guard. <laughs> okay, next. That's the basic contour that I do with the darker shade. Then the highlight. I'm using this zero zero. It is pretty much white, but just off white. Definitely brighter. That is disgusting. Uh, definitely brighter than my <laughs> foundation. We're gonna highlight the cheekbones. We're gonna like stick it there. Lay it on fucking thick because the last time I did this the other night, it was not popping as much as I want. And you can go over it with white, like cl clown white or whatever. I think also if you just make it thicker and you just like kind of blend the top and mainly blend out the edges, you're gonna get more um, of a contrast. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not even at all, but you know what? I'm not gonna judge you. We're gonna make it work. It's gonna come together, I promise. Sometimes a sound and vision. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, something I learned way too long ago about drag is like the highlights totally make all the difference. Like you can do contour, but unless you like have the highlights super um, contrasting to that, it's not going to really work the same way. I do a little bit over here. I do a little bit over here. Mm -hmm. Then I do a big ass. This has got to be really thick to the brow bone because, you know, typically masculine looking people have big, um, beautiful caveman brow type of thing. And I love that shit. The furrowed brow. And up here to make these pop. These always remind me of like the anime, like angry, <laughs> whatever that's called, whatever those are called. When people are angry in animes and then they're like, Meh. that's what it reminds me of. Oh, Ooh, do, 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 do. okay. All right. All right. All right. On the outside of the mouth. I know I'm going to go back over that with the other thing. You can make this really pop too with a white eyeliner after the fact. There's a whole like, you know, uh, don't put creams on after a powder, after you powder. I don't know. I've definitely done it. I know skirt cocaine <laughs> definitely does that, but also skirt just does whatever um, and makes it work flawlessly and it makes me really angry. Um, <laughs> so please go ask Skirt Cocaine for a makeup tutorial, please. 
because skirt uses fingers and not brushes and I want to see that. I want to see it play out. This is going to make my nose stick out a little more. I'm going to go do the tip. Just the tip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm okay with that. We'll, do, we'll get more into the contour when we're going back in for the rest of it with powder or whatever. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. See, sometimes you'll take off the freaking whatever you have underneath it. The base. So you gotta be careful. That's why the nose is really tricky, I think, because it's just like usually on a different level of grease or oil than the rest of your face. <laughs> oh, Jake Blaha just texted me in the middle of a gunfight out of nowhere. I can't respond now, Jake, but you will be in this video. To the center of a restaurant, they say, come with your arms raised high. So, how are we looking? Come with your arms raised high. <laughs> He's just like sending me the lyrics of the song. I know how my favorite My Chem song goes. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. Um, but that was really cute that you messaged me. Oh, Blaha, it has been years. 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 It has been years. All right. That's looking pretty good. And you're done. No, I'm just kidding. In the center of a restaurant. I want to bring that act back. Stupid pandemic. Ah! If I bring that act back, it's going to be like so much better than the first time I did it. I blend all the highlights out first and then obviously, and then go in with the contour after. So you do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And just a little bit. And now that I do the highlights so thick, it's gonna make me even paler. Uh, which, for me, since I have just decided this year that Dick's a vampire, so, you know. Vampires aren't always like full on fucking vampires all the time. I mean, I guess, interview with a vampire, they kind of are, but in other, I mean, I guess a lot of movies they are, but I don't know. Well, you know what you know what I like to think of it as is that sometimes they've fed, they've been feeding, so they have more color in their face. Sometimes they're starving, honey, you know? So with these, again, I'm only lightly blending the edges, I guess. I have a feeling this is gonna be a little asymmetrical. <laughs> but we'll get there. Trust the process. I always hate my paint until I actually put eyebrows on, you know? It's like really hard for me to get behind it because I don't know. I'm very impatient, I think is my issue. <laughs> I want to look good now. Um, but yeah, I would definitely dab over this just to kind of like uh, blend out the brush strokes, you know? Yeah, and see like that's even fine for the, for the bridge of the nose. And then also when you put powder on, that's going to soften everything too. I love how like you do the highlights, especially when you do them this thick and it's almost like your base didn't even matter. Like, but it's those subtle differences in tones that are going to make it look more 3D, um, which is what you want because the whole point is to be able to be seen, you know, it's like stage makeup. I'm a theater kid, so I'm just used to that. Um, I guess I just hadn't been doing stuff like that in so long that when I started trying to do drag, and, you know, I'm naturally kind of a hesitant artist when it comes to, like, trying something new. I want to, like, b do baby steps. See? We're getting more less weird. I'm going to be deepening all of this up anyway. Let me see if I can use the... I always have trouble around the nose area right here. Oh, God. Oh, no. The integrity of these sponges, I'm telling you. It's just not there. They're not the way they used to make them. I know a lot of people don't use these little sponges anymore, but they have their moments. Oh god. I gotta round it out and make it a little more even. 
it is funny once you start doing drag, at least for me, where like I can't not do some of the drag contour, like when I do my regular makeup and I'll do a regular makeup one routine or what, what have you, if anyone's interested. Non-drag makeup every day, what I wear, when I usually do wear more um, androgynous mask sort of look. Not always, but most of the time. Gotta be honest, <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, once I first put it on, um, and then the next time I went to do my regular makeup and I was just like, well, this is a part of my makeup every day now, I guess. I just like the way I look with it so much that, you know. See, we're starting to look more regular now. Regular time. And it's regular time. Yeah, I'm gonna go up like that, I think really cut out those freaking cheekbones, make them high as hell. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? I realize this has gone in more like that. I'm gonna cut that out a little bit. You've seen lots of people cut their contour. With King makeup, it's the same. It's just different, you know, it's just a different shape. Okay, so just to make the edges softer, the cheeks I feel are the most important. The cheekbones and the jaw and all that. I'm gonna be very off center in this video, I can tell, but it's okay. Why do you do it? What do you do? Please don't ignore me, cause you know I adore you. No, good. Yeah. See how I'm talking about where like the forehead shit me up a little bit oh no how dare you um but it's okay like I said it's not gonna matter if for me it doesn't matter like for other people who have um oh god I guess I'll just put some in there too god damn it uh for other people who do like very sharp forehead contour I guess it definitely matters <laughs> but for me it doesn't matter oh I guess I need to do right here god damn it ah Ooh. This isn't going too well. I'm gonna let the rest of that chill for now. Oh! <laughs> you forgot something. I got something on your face. Just pretend to be nourish. I know there's got to be a better way of the jaw contour, but this is how what I know. This is doing it the only way I know how. The only way. You still want the jaw to be like, pop. Um, it's really funny though, because kings will like put their head back and there's just like a chin strap of contour. But it's okay. That's what we do. Eh. I don't know if this is correct, but this is what I do. Oh, I clean this just in time. This is, uh, this is my big buff. My big powder buff. Boop, boop. That, wait, I cleaned that. Oh, it's just dust, I guess. Um, <laughs> ew. Let's put it on my face. That's what he said. Um, she said? They said. We all say it. Um, I didn't have one of these, and then an amazing, talented, beautiful person named Bryn asked me to do a Zoom session about uh, basic drag contour and stuff because she was doing a boylesque act with like the Tiger King dude. <laughs> What's his name? Joe Exotic. And I told her that all the cool drag artists have these big buffies. I see them. I see them on the YouTubes and um, I didn't have one. And then she like sent me one. It was so nice. It was so nice. Okay. Now I'm covering it with baby powder. Try, again, trying to go over the, um, well, I didn't really try to do anything, but trying to go, oh, it was good to wear black today. Trying to go over the highlights first. <sighs> mm, and have no fear, it's going to look a little weird right now. Once we go over with the other powders and stuff, all will be well. Mm, that didn't even get remotely near where I wanted it to. 
really quickly, I'm going to take a, a matte white and because um, I can see my nose contour is getting a little patchy. The highlight, I mean, you can fill that in with some. Ooh, did you not work? Did you? Are you going to? I know it's not being very precise right now. That's fine. That's very crooked. <laughs> We're going to fix it. Don't worry. I also can go over it with powder that has a bit of a powder that has a <laughs> pigment in it, you know, like flesh toned, fleshy, fleshy toned. First and foremost, I'm going to go over my a chicks, my cheekbones. This is looking so different on each side, but it's okay, because no one's gonna ever notice that shit. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just to soften the edges of that. I'm just going to go on the inside of this because you want it to kind of look 3D. So the darker is going to be closer to the inside of that line. Ooh, ooh. Got that. Going over everything to set it first. I'm going a little heavier handed today just because I was like very weirded out by the last paint I did like I loved it I feel like I felt so hot in it I felt so hot but I do feel like it wasn't as like defined as it should be then I like to take this little I guess a color pop concealer brush for like the details right here just under there and just above oh god don't do that don't do that I'm going to have to round it out a little bit more. There we go. Now it's like a nice little boop. A nice little boop. Blend that away. All right. This is looking a little weird to me. This is what happens is I start off with like very harsh contour and then I, I will try to like blow this out more and then it ends up being like not, not as deep as it needs to be. But I'm going to do that right now just because it's a little, it's messing with me a little bit. So I'm taking some, this is Physician's Formula. It's like a mineral loose powder, but it, it you can use it like a mineral foundation, a powder foundation, and it's my favorite thing um, for me, for my skin tone, for my skin type. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try to sheer it out a little bit. I feel like my paint comes out different like every time I do it, so. <laughs> Consistency, we don't know her. I don't feel like I'm going to sheer out anything else other than clean up under here. There we go. I don't want to go over the highlights too much because that's going to mute the highlights and, you know, defeat the purpose. Some of this white um, Mehron that I have. And highlight against these, uh, I don't know what to call them, jowl, jaw things. Sometimes I'll do them really intensely, or sometimes I won't. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. I think I am going to go back over certain things. I don't know why I always do this, like, after I've already blended everything out and, like, powdered. But again, it just makes everything pop so much more. Oh, I want to do it on my nose, but I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. I think I'm just going to put powder on my nose like I did with the tip. Because, like, unless I'm going in with, like, an eyeliner or something, I don't... I don't trust it.
and don't or oh, don't trust it. <laughs> I'm going to call it a day with that, right? Now, going in with a little bit of red and orange, I've, I've noticed that that's something that Vaude does in their um, contour. Um, they put like red in with the shadows and it makes the shadows look more realistic. It's weird, but it does. It makes them look more real and it's crazy. But see how that, I don't know, I feel like that really makes a difference, at least it has for me. Whoop. And then I'm going to go and bring some detail in after this with um, black. Just a little bit of black, but it also makes a huge difference as far as making the contours pop. Maybe I put a little too much red out. <laughs> Hmm. Well, going in with a black very, very lightly. I love this brush so much. All my brushes are from like 99 cents store the Dollar Tree. <laughs> but I love this brush for the little details so much. It's just like a pencil brush, but yeah, I think I got this from the 99 cents store. There's no label on it. It's it's trash, but it's good. See that? See that? already makes such a difference in my mind. I bet you I'm going to line over this with my lips anyway, so whatever. <laughs> See, and it even kind of like tones the red down a little bit because it makes it look more like it's just a, a shadow. Oh, I did not go all the way over here like I was supposed to. Whatever. And don't ask me why I'm like highlighting some stuff with white and then like not highlighting the rest of it with white. Don't ask me. I don't fucking know. I really love um, some like white powder. This brush is not clean, but. Oh, hi. Oh, goodness. I know I'm doing things kind of out of sequence, but deal with it that's fine we'll go back and clean that up with the contour oh god i've been so off center this whole video oh jesus that was a lot oh that's a lot can we not like look at that what the fuck i'm so proud of myself <laughs> sorry i just like it took me a really long time to really feel like I made progress. And that's just my own shit. That's just because I am an instant gratification type of person. That sounds horrible, but <laughs> I prefer um, things to gratify me <laughs> on impact. No, um, this is a great first impression. I am killing it. <laughs> I am killing it. I'm super relatable. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty relatable though, to want things to work as soon as you try them or do them or experience them, you know? Fuck. Can we not do that? Can we not? This is probably not the right brush to be doing my nose with, but I'm just gonna do it. Oh, oh, I forgot about this guy. It's like what I should have been using the whole time. That's what I'll use to blend it out. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Hello, fancy. Are we taking the makeup off underneath? Can we not do that? What if we didn't do that? <laughs> what if that's not what we did? Okay, then you gotta like blend it out, obviously, because that's like way too harsh. Cool much more defined. Mm -hmm. Sp 
I feel like sometimes you can just like barely blend out the contour because that's the whole point is that you're supposed to be able to see all of the work from far away with lots of bright lights. For anyone who isn't a theater kid, that's the whole point of, you know, when you're on stage, you need a bunch of makeup because the lights are so bright that it's just gonna like wash out your features. I'm going back a little bit heavier just cause I fucking can. I'm just gonna go into this little crevasse. <laughs> you know, this gives it like more depth cause there's varying tones to it and it sinks in right there. Yeah, I think that works. Again, it's gonna come out different every time, so don't be too hard on yourself. But don't do me dirty. This is the only part that matters, come on. Oh God, don't do me dirty. See how much more three-dimensional the world? Oh God, please don't mind. Yeah. And like I said, it all depends on the look that you're going for. All right. So that's how you do the basic contour, face contour. As I said, it's gonna look real crazy until you put your eyes and your eyebrows, especially your eyebrows on. Um, for watching uh if you like what you see you could you could follow me you could subscribe it's youtube people subscribe here not follow but you know what i mean it's all the same deal if you like the video i'm not telling you what to do but you can you can do anything i believe in you i believe in you see you next time i love you bye uh, okay i love you bye oh i love you bye Hello loves. It's me, Dick Swagger. I'm not going to I'm not going to commit to this accent because I'm just going to I'm just going to disappoint you. I'm only going to disappoint you. <laughs> what a great start. Um